The first season of the Sonny Cumbie era for Louisiana Tech football also means Coach's first Conference USA Media Day. It's an exciting time of the season for everybody. Everybody's looking forward to the season starting. Um, there's a lot of optimism. Reasons for optimism include Conference USA preseason watch list selections Joshua Moat and Kiwi Rose, who is one of six returning starters on defense. Since we have so many starters coming back, I feel like we could still play together no matter what scheme we, we're doing. Still no word on who the quarterback week one will be, but Coach Cumbie is familiar with both TCU transfer Matt Downing and Texas Tech transfer Parker McNeil and believes they set a perfect example for one of Shreveport's own. I coached Matt Downing two years at TCU, and Parker coached him a year at Texas Tech. Both of them have a ton of experience. Both of them prepare really well. And there's a value that you place in that. There's a value that you place in, hey, they're coaching up a guy like Landry Liddy who just got to our program, and they're, they're showing him how to prepare. Of all the schools in Shreveport, it's Huntington who will have the most Bulldogs on this year's team in Aaron Bean, Kendrick Rucker, and Zion Clayville, all who have bright futures in Ruston. Aaron Bean, he's... He came in with a, a great frame, you know, long, and, and uh, he's very athletic. And this offseason, he's done a tremendous job. He's a talented player, and, you know, I'm excited to see him play in the next few years. Zion and Kendrick both are very different receivers. Um, Kendrick is a, is a tall, longer receiver that could potentially grow into a tight end and has had a pretty good summer. Zion is more of a possession-type receiver. They both have done a really nice job. So another first has been checked off the list for Sonny Cumbie in his first year as head coach. Now the Bulldogs will look to prove the preseason polls wrong. They're picked to finish ninth in Conference USA. Reporting on Conference USA Media Day, I'm John Sartori.